Rainbow Mountain or the Mountain of Seven Colors is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Peru. Along with the incredible Sacred Valley and the world famous Machu Picchu, it is on many people's bucket list when visiting Cusco. The most popular way to visit Rainbow Mountain is with a one day tour, but there are other ways to get there and if you've been watching our channel for a while, you'll know that we like nothing more than to get off the beaten path and explore areas where very few tourists actually go. There is so much more to see and do here in the Andes than just Rainbow Mountain and Machu Picchu and we want to experience as much as we can so instead of doing the one day trip to the Mountain of Seven Colors we're actually doing a two day hike which is going to take us around Osangate which is the highest mountain in the Cusco region. We're going to go all the way up to the glacier around to the other side, camp overnight just below Rainbow Mountain and then get there nice and early tomorrow morning to see it in all its glory. So yeah it's going to be a tough couple of days but we're really looking forward to it. This is going to be the highest elevation that we're going to be hiking at here in Cusco so we've saved the hardest to last I think or at least the highest altitude to last. We're gonna have some breakfast now and then get on our way. So we're starting this walk at about 4,400 meters, which is pretty high. And we're ascending about 600 meters up to Osangati Glacier. When we get up to the top, we'll be about 5,000 meters, which is the highest that we'll have been on this trip. To be fair, the, the path's pretty flat, pretty gradual. So not struggling too much just yet, but check out this glacier. It's amazing. Yeah, about another hour to go till we get to the glacier. That's where we're going, up that ridge and the lagoon is just on the other side of that and up there where the lagoon is is about 5,000 meters. So we're really getting high now, probably about 4,800 here. In total today we're doing about 8.6 miles. Like I said we're going up to the, the glacier first to the viewpoint to have a look from there and then we're going across down into the valley for lunch and then back up another pass down the other side to where we're camping tonight so we still have a long way to go today. The views are making it so worth it. Might be the hardest thing we've done yet. I know why. Like it was so high. Yeah. See the lagoon from a, an angle, it's like a horse. Very pretty. Yeah. I wish this hell wasn't panting like a dog. Eventually, we finished our first climb and were rewarded with some of the most spectacular views of Osongate and the surrounding area. Beautiful view. <laughs> well done. Yeah, that was <sighs> Look at that. Oh, wow. Very cold up here. I'm glad I brought the mask now. Mask, hat, and sunglasses, and my face is fully protected. I'm crying as well. <laughs> All the emotions of being in a mountain. So happy. Bye bye, Glacier. Now we've got to go up that pass. That's pass number two of three today. All about 5,000 meters high. What are we doing for fun? Well, on the other side of that pass, we get lunch. So that's motivation. Nice. 
nice. Made it. Pass number two. Oh. Made it to the highest point. Downhill now to lunch. All the way down there in the valley. We continued our descent, passing some more incredible scenery along the way before finally arriving to our lunch spot for the day. Well done. I'm very Maybe. tired. Yeah, me too. I'm knackered. Congratulations. Oh. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Oh. So we've reached our campsite, which is over there behind us where the red tent is. You can see where we've walked today. We started down in the valley there. We walked up here all the way around to the glacier and then down around to here. It was really not that far, but our legs really feel it. That was by far the hardest day of trekking that we've done, period. We've now got a decision to make, so we're gonna have lunch just here. And then after lunch, we're gonna see how our legs feel, but we're either gonna camp here for the night or the other option is to hike up the pass here over the other side and camp over there. It's currently almost four o'clock. So if we did do that, we'd definitely be hiking a little bit in the dark and our legs feel very, very tired. So we're not sure right now what we're gonna do, but we're gonna have some lunch first and then figure it out afterwards. Can probably tell who decided to make camp here well the decision yeah. was made for us the land where we were supposed to camp tonight belongs to a different community than where we're camping tonight the horseman that we're with who's taking our bags around is allowed to be here not but he's not allowed to go over there we're staying here for the night we're kind of thankful also kind of not looking forward to tomorrow as much anymore because it's going to be a much longer day yeah definitely an earlier start we got used to getting up very early <laughs> you get used to it in peru so yeah we had a nice lunch we're gonna chill out now until dinner have a little bit of nice hot tea later hopefully get a good night's sleep <laughs> <laughs> our tiredness will knock us yeah. out that's the first time we've slept in a tent for a long time yeah. but the view from our tent is pretty awesome <laughs> Asangate, another mountain up there, all behind us. It's a pretty epic camping spot. morning and welcome to day two of the trek the day we hopefully see rainbow mountain the sun is just coming up behind us it's very beautiful but it's freezing right now i can't feel my toes my fingers and my face it's really hard to breathe as well. yeah it must be like minus something in this cold air it's just really hard to breathe we're gonna take it real slow make our way up this pass this is one of two that we've got to go over today this first one and then down and then the second one up is going to be the rainbow mountain one and then from then it's all downhill so you just gotta survive these two uphills legs are feeling a lot fresher today yeah, hopefully the reward will be even better when we get to rainbow mountain <laughs> After a tough ascent and a beautiful sunrise, we made it to the top of the third pass at just under 5,000 meters. And from here, we got our first glimpse of Rainbow Mountain. Rainbow Mountain. Bye bye, Osangate. Hello, Rainbow Mountain. One last push to the mountain. Let's do this. Rolling 
Stunning hill. Yeah, they're so close though. Just over that rise, last uphill of the trip. <laughs> We're here, can't believe it. Oh my God. Mountain. <laughs> and guys, can you believe that we're the first ones here coming here and seeing it with our own pair of eyes? It just feels incredible. And from up here, you can see like how far we've walked. We started behind this ridge here and walked up to Osangate all the way around and then over this pass here and then all the way up to Rainbow Mountain. Feels incredible to be yeah. here. Very grateful. Very grateful. Yeah. And to make it because it was a tough hike. <laughs> Let me tell you that. It was the toughest It wasn't done. easy to get here. the views you get from here it's like one of my favorite views yeah so far, honestly i didn't think you get this good of views from no, up there no no i only thought you get like the iconic view but look at this it's just amazing you can literally see for miles every direction you, you see all these ranges around you and worth every drop of sweat we took <laughs> to get sure. here and you can also see the red valley over here behind rainbow mountain it's supposed to be a lot less touristy over there by pretty you know, it kind of looks like mars Here. Yes. Over to lunch. Yesterday I was cursing myself a little bit when we were climbing up. I was like, why are we doing this? But now I'm like, I could just do it all over again. The feeling is just ah, so much energy I have now. The rest of our descent was very gradual and took us through some stunning Andean valleys before bringing us back to our tent and the end of this amazing trek. Made it back! Yes! And uh, here we are! Yes! Yeah. Thank you so much! Yeah, thank you! Oh, thank you! After two days, four passes climbed, a couple of them definitely over 5,000 meters and probably about 20 kilometers walked roughly. Finally made it to the end, we're finishing in this absolutely stunning valley behind me with views of Osangate. It's just, it's been an incredible journey. 100% the hardest trek we've done here in Cusco. If you even consider doing this trek, make sure you do it after Salcante or the Inca Trail or right at the end of your trip to make sure you're acclimatized enough. Rainbow Mountain just like blew us away. Absolutely amazing if you can get yourself there, make sure to do it. However, there is a different option to Rainbow Mountain called Palcoyo now, which is getting more and more popular. They actually have three different Rainbow Mountains there. A little bit later in the trip, we actually visited Palcoyo. Here is basically a sum up of our trip to Palcoyo and how it compared to Rainbow Mountain in our opinion. so many people <laughs> definitely very touristy a lot more than it probably was a few years ago yeah. One alternative that you do have to the Rainbow Mountain that is slightly less popular, although it is very, very busy, it's already. getting more and more popular, yeah. is the Palcoyo Mountain, which you can see behind us. It's basically an alternative to the big Rainbow Mountain, yeah. but it's just as pretty, it's just as beautiful. There's actually three different mountains here that you can yeah. see, which is pretty cool. The colors are just the same as the Rainbow Mountain. It's probably, I don't know, slightly cheaper. It's pretty also nice. slightly less altitude, which is nice. Yeah. It's 4,900 meters as opposed to like 5,200. It's a little bit easier on 
the lungs. Just an alternative if you aren't in the mood to do Rainbow Mountain or you want some kind of different experience, then you can come here and, yeah. and check this one out. I recommend it. It's really beautiful around here. Yeah. Like the scenery is just amazing. The views are stunning. Yeah. So this whole landscape just reminds us a lot of Sky in Scotland where we were last year. The landscape is very similar, especially to the terrain up in the northeast of Sky. Very, very similar landscape. Looks like just layers upon layers of rock on top of one another. Really cool. There's another place here. It's not just the three rainbow mountains called the Forest of Stone, which we're heading up to right now, which looks pretty cool because we saw it on the way up. Hope you enjoyed that video of our Rainbow Mountain trek. It was amazing. Cool. Overall, Palcoyo, definitely a cool alternative. Be aware that you're gonna be in the van for about four hours to yeah. get here. Overall, we've probably spent only about an hour here and now uh, we've got to go more. maybe slightly more than an hour. Then we gotta go all the four hours all the way back again. Yeah, and two hours of that is just on like very like gravel, dirt roads yeah. and very windy bumpy roads. So just to be aware if you're a bit nauseous. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this video looking at both the Orson Gate Trek and Rainbow Mountain and this alternative to it as well. And we'll catch you on another adventure in Cusco real soon. See ya.